knew of his talents and he's just an amazing, amazing uh, pianist. Uh, but you know, he also traveled with us for 12 years or was it the theater? And actually with me and Dave, he was at Dollywood three years before that. And so, you know, man, one of the, one of the hardest things, you know, that was just one of the hardest things I've been through in a while. And with all of us, I think, and um, he had his home going service about, what, two weeks ago, I guess it was now, a week and a half ago, and we were honored to be able to sing at that. And, to, uh, you know, just reflect on our time with Jeff. Uh, great, 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 great memories. You know, you can't, can't travel with somebody on the bus and not just have great memories. Um, but the great thing about Jeff was is that he knew uh, the Lord. And it's one thing to have talent like he had and, uh, you know, be a nice guy or whatever, but he knew the Lord. And it's great to be able to sing at a home-going service when you know what home they're going to, right? <laughs> I mean, it, it really does help the situation when you know for sure. And um, it was well with his soul. And I just want to ask you guys tonight, you know, Jeff, Jeff fell, um, was in his own home when he fell, and had an accident and, uh, you know, never really recovered from that. And now he's home with Jesus. You know, we never know what tomorrow may bring, do we? We never know. And so we have to stay close to the Lord. And I just want to say, if you don't know him tonight, man, we're going to give you an opportunity uh, well, you can just take the opportunity right now. But the thing about it is, you don't even have to. You don't have to come forward. You don't have to, you know, shake my hand. It's almost against the law, anyhow. I mean, you don't have to do any of those those things. You know, just to make it real simple, people say, "Well, how do you get? You know, how do you how do you get to know the Lord?" Well, the Bible says, "As many as received Him, to them gave He power to become the sons and daughters of God." We've already quoted this verse once, but. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever Amen. believes. Look at Romans would say, whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord can be saved. So you can do it right where you're sitting. So I want you to listen to the words of this next song. And if it's not well with your soul, why don't you get there tonight as we sing this?
the car.